little bit more people friendly with the names here. Please. I like Kat Von D. I hope Jeffrey Clark doesn't hate me forever. But Kat Von D, you know, I go, we go, we go way back. We go way back. <laughs> me and Kat Von D don't go way back. But I mean, like, I've been buying her products since a long time. And Jeffree Star, I love you too. I love Kat Von D. So please don't judge me. I love them both. I love them all. All of them. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm putting that one color, that, that one peachy shade that I just showed you just now. And I'm putting it on my finger. And I'm digging in there with my finger. You see it? You see it? It is right there. You see it? Okay, and... Ah! Wrong hand. Okay. Oh, my Lanta. That's not horrible. But I need to use the other finger to do it. Oh! Oh, I think I've had too much wine. I just digged in my palette. You see that? Like, it's okay, but... Because it's mine. It's okay if I do that because it's mine. But if it was somebody else's, they'd get mad at me right now. I'll show you right now what I did to it. It's just like too much pressure. It's just like, you've had too much wine, Veronica! Mm. That's what happened. I just heard somebody coming in on my front door. I think. Did you hear that? No? Okay. It was just the dog then. Oh, the dog's right <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's get in there and let's just mix root. Oh no, I didn't ruin it, did I? No, huh? I gave it a little hint of pink, I think, with that peach. The peach and the blue, or the peach and the aqua kind of like mixed into something weird, but I think it, it softened it up a little, but it made it a little bit more pink friendly. Like it, it kind of like, they kind of match better now, huh? Don't you think? It took the harshness out of the blue, and they match a little better. I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? Let me know something in the comments. You guys never comment. Look. I'm not trying to be, like, disgusting or anything, or perversive. Perverted. Per 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 pervert. But, down in the comments. Leave me a comment. What do you think about this look? I think it's a little way out there. I would totally wear it in public, wear it to work, whatever, because I gives up. <clears throat> about what people think okay but let me know what you think okay I like it a lot I feel like it would be a conversation starter you know amongst people who maybe don't know me or maybe might have some opinion about me this just this is just gonna put it more out there you know like I like her like if I like her I like her way more now because of her eyeshadow and if I hated her from the beginning you know, even more now because of her eyeshadow. Does that make sense? Kind of? Because I've felt that way before. That's why I'm saying it. Like, like, oh, like, oh, I don't like her. But how dare she wear those nails like that? You know? Or like, oh, she's cool. She's okay. Oh, but damn, look at those nails. Now I like her more. You know what I mean? Do you feel what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm making sense to me. And to those who know, no. Those who don't know, don't know yet, haven't experienced it yet, or don't want to say they have, but y'all already know, because I keep it one zero zero one hundred all the time, mmm, anyways, uh, the wine, okay, anyways, I'm trying to blend this peach color into the, into the aqua that I had on there, the kiki, or the kai kai, no, kiki, something like that, and I just want it to be reflective and pretty, do you see? It's reflective. Oh, I just totally like pop my neck right now. <laughs> it, it felt good. Okay, because I kind of wanted that. Mm. Okay, shake it off. Okay, so I think I'm gonna add some more. No, I feel like the pink is like really like standing out there and like what like exactly what I wanted it to be, but the blue. I feel like it took it, like when I added the peach to it, it, had, it got a shimmer, but it took the blue down a little. So maybe I should add a little more blue to it. I'm at 40 minutes. Just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. Okay. I'm going to just move it in there. Like this. Bringing this back again. Okay. 
Shout out to Manny Amy Way. Everybody has a hard time. Okay. Okay, a little more blue. Right up in there, because I feel like I softened it up a lot. And we're not trying to soften anything up today. See, there we go. And I, what, should, well, what colors should I put on my lower lid? Uh, I don't know, because I'm not an MUA, but I'm trying. But, um, I don't know. What should I put, should I put like, on the lower, like, over here pink and over here blue? So, okay, we'll see right now. Anyway. The train's going by again. You know what that means? It means I've been doing this video for a long ass time. And I think it's not an Amtrak. I think it's a freight train. Bear with me. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so every time I put shimmer on there, it like takes it down a thousand notches. for weddings and proms and whatever I will come in and do your makeup just the way I'm doing it right now you know I'm not a professional anyway I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm not available for weddings and proms because I'm so afraid of doing other people's makeup and barely learning how to do my own <laughs> that was just like that was just funny it was just supposed to be funny anyway Selena's over here fanning herself like crazy right now the train went by see we got through that didn't we yes we got through that train. How do you train your hand to do circular motions when you're not used to doing circular motions? When all your life you would have just applied makeup by going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that was just the way you did it. Circular, tiny little circles and having the patience to do it. Oh, it takes a lot out of me. But that's actually the best result. You'll get the best result by doing so. Really. Okay, so what's everybody think? Hmm? Okay, I'm ready to stop on the eye lids and introduce to you. You've probably already seen it, but it was in my makeup case. I'm using it well and I was really fond of it when it really came out. So since I'm doing kind of like a little bit stretched out look today, we're going to Put some of uh, this on. Can you see it? It is the. Where is it? Oh, they're real by benefit. In the color. In the color of this. Can you see that? It's like a blue color, and I am so digging it. Every time I put it on, everybody goes, Are you wearing blue mascara? And they always have like this kind of sour look on their face. And I'm like, yeah, bitch. Fucking wearing blue mascara. And I'm owning it. What? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so I'm going to put some of it on. And let me know what you think. If you think it's like 70s or whatever, then I totally won't use it again. Or at least not on my channel. But it's like a sapphire blue. It's like super beautiful. And on your eyelashes, it just make them watch. Just watch. Okay, just watch. I ain't going to say no more. I have nothing else on my eyelashes because I just don't. So let's jump right in there. And at first, when I first started using this, which was when I was working last year as a housekeeper at Globes Community Hospital, not sponsored. <laughs> just kidding, why would they sponsor me? <laughs> When I was working last year, this is when I started I started wearing it, and I didn't even think that it would be noticeable, and I would wear it like as a, like a really simple look to work, and people that I didn't even know they would be like, "Are you wearing blue mascara?" And I was like, "Fuck yeah, I'm wearing blue mascara," <laughs> and I would go like that, flutter my eyes like that. I really would, yeah, because I'm extra like that. But um, so let me know what you think. I don't know. I liked it. 
Um, I think it totally applies to the look I'm doing today, so... You know, the look today is called extra, extra, extra. Yeah, along those lines. Because... I didn't want to be that boring YouTuber that always does the same thing. So, it's a little different, you know? Not that, like, you know, neutral colors or neutral looks are boring to some people. That's how they do their makeup. But to me, I like to vary it up a little bit. You know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and salt, pepper. And sometimes I throw in lemon and pepper salt. And you didn't even know that was coming, you know? Because that's just the, kind of, just the kind of spice I like, you know? Anyway, I myself couldn't really notice it when I put it on. And at this point, not really, like I really don't notice it, but maybe you all will notice it. I don't know. Maybe I'm making a big deal about nothing. Maybe it won't be noticed. Maybe, maybe it looks like black. I don't know. Let me know in the comments because I love it when y'all comment. Makes me feel noticed. When you don't comment, I kind of sit around going, nobody's commented on my page today. What am I going to do to get their attention next time? But, if you have any suggestions as to what I can do to get your attention next time, I am open to it because I want my channel to grow. So, let me know what's up. What do you like? What do you not like? Do you hate my face? If you hate my face, I'm sorry, you're going to have to just not watch me anymore. But if there's something that you don't like about me, that you do like about me, whatever. I appreciate any kind of comments. And I will never be negative to you. If you're negative to me, I might just skip over or something, you know. But life is life. People are people. If I'm going to put myself out like this, out there in the world like this, then I expect for people to, you know, have their opinions about me. So, it is what it is. I'm never going to be like, fuck you, bitch. Go to hell, meet me out here on the street. I bet you won't say that to my face. No, that's not going to be me. Because <laughs> that's, that's, I don't know. It's, it's just weird. Anyway, one more eye left to do. Hold on. But do you remember that kind of talk? Remember when you were in high school? Like, uh, I bet you won't say that to my face. That was one of the popular ones. Oh, you did say that to my face. Okay. <laughs> it's always a surprise when somebody does say it to your face, right? I was like, oh, you are that brave. Oh, I didn't know you were, you were going to actually say it to my face. I ramble on sometimes. I go from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. This Benefit Mascara is, like, awesome. Even though, like, even if you just get the black or whatever, it's still, like, making my eyelashes come out from nothing because I have definitely tortured my eyelashes in the past couple of decades I'm only 20 something years old but they've been due to they've been through the ringer you know for a 20 something <laughs> I can't oh jeez okay um my eyeliner goes gets very upset with me every time I try to put it over glitter and it dries up and goes to shit but for you I will I'm gonna put some eyeliner on over my electric eyelash look you know what not yet okay we don't want to even get to that you know what today today my purse I'll be right back, okay? I had to peel my... Did you hear that? I peeled my leg off this chair right now. <laughs> I'll be right back. Sit tight, okay? Sit tight. Enjoy my cows. edit it out if I need to. I'm back. <laughs> How'd it look? It was like 30 seconds. 
Thank you for bearing with me if you're still with me. Okay, today I went to Target and I picked this little baby up and I forgot all about it. Because <sighs> I'm 42. Can that be my excuse for everything? Like, oh, I'm so sorry I did that. I'm 42. Hopefully. Maybe. Okay, so it's, uh, it is, um... I was picking up a prescription and I was just walking a prescript a prescription. I was walking around and I was like, hmm, Maybelline Superstay and something in French. There's always something in French. Like it's all fancy. It's Target, I swear. <laughs> Maybelline Superstay, something else in French, and multi-use foundation stick. I picked it up so that I can use it as a contour. So this is what it looks like. You see that? And it's And it is in the shade, it was just like the darkest shade I've seen, but it's Mocha, Mocha 360. Okay, so I'm going to put it on as a contour because I haven't contoured it today because I was waiting for this time so I can do it with you because you're special to me. <laughs> I'm just too much wine. Okay, look, and I've never used actually a contour stick. This isn't a contour stick, it's a foundation stick, but it's way too dark for me, so I'm going to use it as, as a contour stick. And I'm going to put it on, and then we're going to use our little blender thing, and then we're going to blend and blend, because I know I'm not chiseled. And I want to get chiseled. Okay. Let's paint. I always see people like apply their their contour and it always looks way too dark and way too heavy but once they blend it it looks okay so first time I'm using it I'm doing it with you so if it messes up then please bear with me I had no idea <laughs> and just paint it on there and there I have this very big forehead this great big forehead I didn't used to have before because my forehead has kind of like gone into like my hairline where I've lost hair and it's become forehead. And again, I'm 42. So that happens when you're 42. That happens, starts happening when you're like 35. I didn't really.